Talk to us about what we learned yesterday. How surprised were you? Yes, so it, it was surprising across the board on a number of different fronts. Uh, the dividend was cut to five cents a share. Um, they are talking about uh, not growing the balance sheet uh, this year from the loan standpoint and, and have targets for capital and liquidity that, that were a surprise to the streets. And then on top of all of that, um, there, there were some credit quality concerns with some losses in the portfolio with respect back to multifamily and office lending. I think it really speaks to the nerves of this market that you take a look at KRE and the broad-based indexes, and they're down pretty significantly again right. today. And I guess the big question is, is this an idiosyncratic issue to mm -hmm. NYCB, or is this something systemic that we should be keeping an eye on? Right. So it's a little bit of both. So the idiosyncratic part is that New York community, when they bought, uh, when they acquired Signature Bank last year, they, they tipped over the $100 billion asset mark, which ushered in higher um, capital requirements and will require New York community to undergo the stress test later this year. So in order to prepare for that, they needed to shore up their, their reserves, their loan loss reserves, and also their capital. Um, that's the idiosyncratic part. The, the systemic part may be more towards the concerns about commercial real estate, specifically office commercial real estate, and specific to them, they have a big multifamily apartment lending component, um, which is uh, a bit... Uh, constrained in this current environment with high interest rates and New York rent regulations. Okay, that's really interesting. And of course, uh, you mentioned there's a lot of issues here. It's not just commercial real estate, but really quickly here, are we going to see other banks pop up with these CRE issues? Right, so the good thing is that uh, the CRE issue will be an elongated cycle. So we could see some losses in 2024 this year, but then it, it could happen th through over the next few years uh, as these loans mature. The, the the other good thing is that banks are prepared because they know the cycle is coming. So they've already built up a lot of reserves and uh, the Citizen CEO had mentioned that things are in the back view and they've already built their reserves 10% of their office exposure. So. Uh, it's a, it's a known threat that's coming. So it, from that standpoint, it, it, nothing should surprise the industry on that front. 